Today we're diving deep into the best virtual machines for Windows 11, comparing VMware Workstation Player, Oracle VirtualBox, and Microsoft Hyper-V. If you're wondering which VM is right for your needs in 2025, whether you whether for development, gaming, or everyday testing, this video is for you. What is a virtual machine and why you use one? First, a quick refresher. A virtual machine lets you run a different operating systems inside your current system, like running Linux inside Windows without restarting your computer. Why use a VM? This software safely run older or alternative operating systems, isolate development environments, enhance security for risky apps. Now let's see how VMware, VirtualBox, and Hyper-V stack up. VMware Workstation Player is one of the most popular VMs, especially for Windows users. Pros, excellent performance, great for heavy workloads and professional use, very stable and reliable, supports DirectX 11 and OpenGL 4.1, making it a solid choice for light gaming or graphics apps. Simple, clean UI, snapshot functionality in Pro version allows easy backup of VM states. Cons, free for personal use only. Commercial users need to buy the Pro version. Some advanced features are locked behind the paid version as well. It's best for professionals, developers, and users needing reliable performance. Oracle Virtual Box. Next up is Oracle Virtual Box, a fully open source option. Pros, 100% free, no hidden costs, highly customizable with tons of extensions, supports a wide range of guest operating systems, Linux, Mac OS with tweaks, Windows, BSD, and more. Active community support as well too. Cons, slightly lower performance compared to VMware, especially with graphics heavy tasks. Interface looks a bit outdated. Requires manual tweaking for best performance like guest additions, and extension. Best for students, hobbyists, open source fans, and light use scenarios. And finally, we have Microsoft Hyper-V, which is built into Windows 11 Pro Enterprise and Education Editions. Pros, native to Windows, no need to install third-party software, very efficient for Windows to Windows virtualizations, good resource management, excellent for running multiple VMs. Secure boot and shielded VMs offer enhanced security features. Cons, only available on Windows Pro or higher. Not available on Home Edition without workarounds. Less intuitive for beginners compared to VMware on VirtualBox. Limited support for non-Windows guest operating systems. Not a feature rich for graphic intensive VMs. Best for enterprise users, IT professionals, and people needing tight Windows integration. Performance and resource usage comparison. Let's talk real world performance. Speed, VMware generally offers the best overall speed and responsiveness. Hyper-V is close behind for Windows VMs. VirtualBox is a bit slower, unless heavily optimized. Ease of use, VMware is the most user-friendly out of the box. VirtualBox is fairly easy, but needs more setup. Hyper-V has a steeper learning curve. Resource management, Hyper-V wins for efficient RAM and CPU usage. VMware is next. Excellent performance, but needs decent specs. VirtualBox can become resource heavy without proper tuning. Which one should you choose? Here is the bottom line. Choose VMware Workstation if you want professional grade performance, especially for software development or light gaming. Choose VirtualBox if you need a free, flexible, and open source solution for personal projects and experimentation. Choose Hyper-V if you have Windows Pro or Enterprise and want deep Windows integration and enterprise features without installing extra software. Conclusion, that wraps up our comparison of the best virtual machine for Windows 11 in 2025. Each VM has its strengths. The best one depends on your needs, your system specs, and how technical you want to get. If this video helped you out, smash that like button, subscribe for more tech comparisons, and leave a comment if you have any question. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.